up guys uh, welcome to my youtube channel i go by the name boy western so apparently today i'm going to be talking about myself because my birthday is around the corner on the 19th of may is my birthday so i'm going to be talking about myself the struggles the little wins my kind of lifestyle is what I would call different. I'm different because um, I don't do, I don't follow the crowd. I don't try to fit in with the crowd. I don't try, I don't follow the trends. Growing up has been okay i won't say we are poor but we are not rich either because my family is a struggling family i'm the only child of my mom and i'm the last child of my dad but my dad doesn't care and me too i don't care either i don't even know where he is i don't i don't want to know so my mom my mom my mom my mom struggle but my mom doesn't train me in school my mom's elder sister that do everything my auntie she's just she's a pillar of my family because i don't know without she maybe i would have been hawking pelt on this trip i'm i'm so grateful for her so I'm so grateful to God for giving us her because she she has really helped the family. She has really carried everybody along. She's the one paying for my school fees, buying me clothes, doing everything for me. So I'm really grateful. see this country uh, nigeria is a very hard country if you don't read books uh, the way the country is hard you'll be thinking maybe it's your village people that is doing it but it's not village people the country the country does not want us to survive this country does not want us to survive the nigeria government the government the politicians are very selfish because how can a country be so rich and then its citizens are so poor? I, I, I don't understand. See, if I have if I have the way to go out of this country, man, I'm going out. Like, because this country does not even want my good. What the country does is kill me, jail me, accuse me, and leave me to suffer. The country does not give opportunity does not support us does not encourage us that listen this country is just i don't know what to say about the country but see if i if i have any opportunity to go out of this country i'm moving because like this country is not just it's not just where i want to be because my dreams and my goals hmm, this country is going to kill it but i won't let them because i'm hard working so i'll strive to that's why I, that's why i always say nigerians in diaspora especially western countries that are developed you cannot see a nigerian man in america suffering it's not done it's not it's not possible because they are coming from so far they are coming from hell so they can't go to a land of opportunities and still live in hell. No, it's not possible because the Western country provides opportunity and takes good care of its citizens and people in that country. Unlike my country that kills its citizens, take away opportunity from us, jail us, leave us to suffer. So. You cannot see a Nigerian man, an African man, 
go to a land of opportunity and see stuff is not so much. So that's what, I'm, that's what I'm saying. If I have any opportunity to go out of this country, I'm leaving ASAP. I'm not even thinking twice. I'm leaving, man. Because then this country is just going to kill you. Going to kill your dreams. Just kill, The country will just leave you useless. That's just how this country is. We need, we need good leaders. We need better leaders. I've not been genuinely happy. The last time I thought I was genuinely happy was when I gained admission. Oh, because I was just, let me just say, because of family pressure and the environment I stay in. So when you're done with secondary school, you have to write jam and get admission to university. And it's not as if it's what I wanted to do. It's just like a tradition, but so, my friends, they wrote the jam. Okay, we are done with secondary school. We have to write jam. We all wrote jam, and I filled my jam. The rest they passed, and they got admission. And I was very sad. I, I even cried. It was as if there was no hope for me. My family started saying this and that, but I wrote the second jam, and I gained admission to university. And I thought I was I was happy, but. I thought that was what I wanted, but <laughs> this coronavirus pandemic made me made me so self-aware, made me so self-conscious, made me realize myself, made me know who I am, made me know what I wanted to do, made me know my goals and my dreams. And I just and I just noticed that man. I wasn't genuinely happy when I got that admission to the university. I, I was happy because that was the tradition. Like nobody would shout at me, nobody would insult me, nobody would say you're oh, useless and all this stuff, but that was not what I wanted, so I wasn't genuinely happy. I feel like all everything I wanted, all the things I want in my life, I'm not getting them. It's not that I'm not hardworking, it's just that the opportunities are not there. These are the opportunities that are not there and it kills my morale. We, nev- we never give up, that's why. We don't give up, we keep striving. That's it. I, I feel like I have to struggle for everything, and, but it's okay. But when you're struggling, when you're always struggling and you're not winning, you, you, you're going to, your morale, everything will just be down. But I don't just give up. I don't give up. I've passed through a lot in this life. People don't know. People don't know what I've passed through because when you see me, I'm always jovial. I'm, I'm always smiling. I'm trying to make people laugh. I'm trying to make people happy. I'm very playful, but people don't know what I've been through. I see people that always put it on people's feet. Like, Do you know what I've been through? I've been through this. I've been through that. I've suffered. I've done when I hear their stories, I'll just be like, so now this one that you're saying, is this anything you've been through? If I talk my own now, all of them, all of them, I go just, I go just quiet because, like, I've been through a lot, but nobody knows, nobody knows. I don't, I'm not the kind of person that will come and just want to tell you my problem or share my problem with you or disturb you. I'm very independent. Right from time, I've been always, I've always been independent. I don't even tell my parents stuff. I don't even ask my parents for stuff. You understand? So. The, that's how that's how I live my life. I don't even like telling people what is even bothering me. Like sometimes my, my mom will ask me, Are you okay? What do you want? I, I just say nothing, nothing. But but I need something, but I just don't want to disturb anybody. I don't want I don't want to seem like a burden to anybody. That's it. So I don't like telling people my problems. I don't like sharing what I'm passing through. I just take it all in and find a solution for myself. That's it. So people don't really know. People when people see me they feel like I don't have any problem. I'm okay. I, 
I'm always happy and also but they don't know what I've been through. They don't know what I'm I'm going through. But I'm grateful to God for life, for health. And that's what I wish for myself in this my upcoming birthday, long life and good health. And if you guys wish me well and you guys want to support me on my birthday, you guys can send money to me because money is very essential. So you guys can send money to me. I'll leave my account details in the description box below. You guys can support me. Thank you very much. much. Um, so that's all I have to say. If you like this video, video please, please subscribe, subscribe, like, like leave, leave a comment, comment below, below turn, turn on your post, post notification. And thank, thank you for watching. watching. I love you guys, guys so much. Thank you to my, my so, so my own subscribers, thank, thank you to my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you for you, you that, that I haven't subscribed or you viewed. I just want to thank, thank you for your time. time. Goodbye, peace.